Angel Hernandez at the World Baseball Classic. Hi, it's Lynn, and while most people were concentrating on Angel's plate game with calls like these. Suelta Hernandez en la zona. Or this one, just wait for the Altuve facial expression. Jose Altuve. Buen guante. Buen. Y excelentemente visión. We're starting called controversy a little bit early this year, I guess, but I was more paying attention to what happened here in the seventh inning. Tienen opinión adelante. Vamos a estar observando eso, pero le mandamos un saludo de paso total. So I'm looking at the umpire because they're highlighting him, and this is what happened. It's everyone's most exciting rule of all time, the uniform rules. It's time for everyone's favorite rule, the uniform rules, and buttoning up specifically. Every time we do this, we start in the official baseball rules. The Major League rules are being used for the World Baseball Classic, so that's the book to use. 303 talks about player uniforms. A lot of this are about the colors and the styles, the numbering, the letters. The only thing about buttons is glass buttons, polished metal shall not be used. They're worried that they'll break. College is the only one, 114E, that talks about wearing something and actually buttoning it but it's only for pitchers or coaches wearing jackets on top of the uniform top. So we turn to the Major League Baseball umpire manual, the interpretations guide, and we see that the uniform section is, again, telling the umpires, this is how you wear your uniforms, take pride in your appearance, things like that. And then the actual gameplay uniforms for players, it just talks about ball going into a player uniform, which is essentially if a ball gets into your uniform, batted or thrown, Inadvertently, it's time and you award one base, one base award. The rule itself, 506C7, talks about pitched balls. So all the interpretation does in the manual is apply that logic to batted balls and thrown balls. But as far as buttoning, nothing. What Angel might be doing here is something that umpires call preventative officiating, in which case the umpire would basically instruct a player to do or not do something so as to avoid potential rules infraction or penalty later. For instance, by telling a pitcher to close their open shirt, the umpire is trying to avoid the lodged ball issue so that the rule does not have to be invoked and that the defensive team would not get unfairly penalized for that. Though a pitcher receiving a batted ball might be hurt in other ways than just having it go inside his uniform. Either way, this looks like a preventative officiating case for me. That said, it's Angel, so people had to ask about it. For instance, we know from experience that Angel is not one of those umpires that leaves things alone. He'll pick something out, even if it is a lodged ball all the way in the outfield. We talked about that. I would highly recommend you watch that video to explain what happened in that situation, because it led to an ejection. Although it's also fair game to wonder how many buttons are enough buttons. You need to button all of them. You can you leave one undone, two undone. It's so confusing, and that's why it's not even in the rule book. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. Subscribe, join us on Discord, and we'll see you on the site.